Today we're making diver sea scallops with edamame, passion fruit, lotus root, and black winter truffle jus. And I am in the kitchen at Guild Restaurant with executive chef Christopher Lee. Thank you so much for having us. Ah, it's our pleasure. Now tell me what's in this recipe. So we have diver sea scallops or day boat scallops right here. Um, they're U10 in size, you can tell. Um, they're nice and big. Basically what that translates into, it's units per pound. So there's 10 pieces of scallop per pound. They weigh about uh, one, you know, uh, two ounces, you know, per about ounce and a half, let's say. Yeah, those are pretty big. They're pretty nice, um, and they're, they're large, and uh, they take about seven to eight years to get to this size. Wow, um, other that's a long time. Very long. Uh, other ingredients <laughs> in the dish: uh, we have passion fruit, which is basically just fresh juice finished with um, some chili, some espalette. Mm. Uh, we have this is uh, shiitake mushrooms, edamame, dashi which is really called, dashi is the, a Japanese based universal stock. In mm. French kitchens, chicken stock is. In, uh, in Japanese, it's dashi. Dashi is a combination of kombu and bonito. Um, mm. So it gets like kind of a fishy, kelpy flavor to it, but it's really, really good. And where can you find that? Um, you can go downtown, Chinatown, find kombu, bonito, any <laughs> store, any specialty Japanese or food store, you'll find it. This is um, some fresh Easter egg radish, sliced very, very thin, as a little garnish on the plate. Oh, nice. You have great knife skills to do that. Yeah, they're really cute. <laughs> and then this is um, baby turnips. Mm. Um, same thing, just add a little more earthiness, some freshness to the dish. Mm -hmm. Lotus root, which is a classically, you can tell, lotus root because it has the little circles involved. Mm -hmm. And you peel the outside away and you just shave it very, very thin. And you just bread it a little with a little flour and deep fry it. And become oh, a, okay, that's why it's kind of crispy. Kind of chip. Yeah, can you, can you eat <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah, right off the bat. Mm. A little texture. Oh, it's nice. It's microgreens. Basically, this is watercress and amaranth. Mm -hmm. And this is um, broomwash shallot and some thyme leaves. This is mentally for the scallops. When we finish them, we'll, we'll baste them with some little butter, some mm -hmm. shallot, and some thyme. Okay, very nice. So, and then this, this finishes the dish. This is our black winter truffle um, jus. Basically, it's a meat-based sauce where it's a high reduction of a meat gloss or um, demi. You could probably find in, in most specialty food stores, um, a beel stock, and I would take it all the way down to what we call a gloss or a sec, which means almost dry. Okay. Finish that with fresh black truffle and truffle vinegar. And that's and where. And how long does it take to get that way? Well, depending on um, how long, you know, what you have, you see all the nice black truffle. Oh, yeah, and it this, smells amazing. It depends on how thick your stock is. Mm -hmm. If it's, you know, let's say a quart of maybe veal stock, it might take about 20 minutes to reduce. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, first we're gonna, we want to, what we call score the scallop. This is basically a technique to really make it a little more, like a, look nice on the plate. Um, mm -hmm. It's also for textural, because once we score, we're gonna actually expose a little more surface area, as you can see right there, which causes it to have a little more texture as well. So but this is scored? This is scored already. Okay. So you can see it's a nice waffle pattern. Mm -hmm. it's something you see traditionally, maybe with um, like on a duck breast to help render some of the fat. Mm -hmm. We kind of just incorporate it into the fish, you know, into scalp. We're more for decoration, more for appearance and stuff like that. Well, show us how it's done. It's not that bad. <laughs> you kind of want to go in, you don't want to go in too much. You want to go in light, all right? And you want to, you know, pretty much do the scores equally across. So it stays a very uh, similar in shape. Okay. And after you just come down a little bit, there you go. And you just kind of open them up and this oh, scores okay. kind of speak for themselves. The next step here with these, because we want to cook them, um, we're going to just season them lightly. Mm -hmm. And a uh, little lightly seasoned, just a little bit with salt. Mm -hmm. All right. Just a pinch on each. Just a pinch. I mean. Both Believe it or not, you would want to season a little bit more um, than not. People tend to under season. See, my theory is and a little fresh pepper. I think so too, but I thought that was the minority point of view. I love seasoning. Well, it all depends. To me, I mean, they, they consider me a little more aggressive as aggressive chef of flavors. So I really, we don't lax on seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, I really do emphasize seasoning and finish seasonings. It's because it's very important, so even, even for like to bring out the natural flavor of scallop. If you cook the scallop without salt and you cook it with salt, it's a completely different um, profile oh, yeah. and flavor. Yeah. Um, this will taste 20 times better. Mm -hmm. What we also do to help us um, to crisp it up a little bit, we take um, a flour called Wondra. Uh, Wondra flour you can find in the stores. It's in that um, blue container that says gravy on it. Uh, but it's a, very, it's a coarse ground flour. You can feel it. Mm. It, ha it feels like bulb burnings. I mean, oh, you kinda, yeah, it is very that? coarse. Right, so it's not like AP where it sticks, well, it's stick to it. This will add us, allow us to get into each crack. Mm -hmm. 
you want to separate each of the score really, really well. And That's don't called Wondra. Wondra. Hmm. Okay. All right, and once you get it in, the, in between each of the little scores, you want to tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out. Yeah, you know, blow on it. Yeah, you because know, you don't want a little. You don't want the excess flour. The mm -hmm. excess flour will cause maybe will cause a little browning or burning a lot, and it'll also call clumping. Mm. So now our scallops ready to go. We're gonna let's go to the stove and cook it. All right, let's do it. There we go. So now we're gonna put the scallops in the pan. Now we're gonna start with the saute. Okay. Now the secret to saute that people don't realize too much. You want to be able to have a hot pan and cold oil. Now, if you don't have a hot pan, let's say, you put cold oil to a cold pan, you, then you get it hot. Well, you're going to actually get the hot the oil hot too much, and you're going to mm -hmm. cause it to like burn and denature. Um, so you're basically what you're looking for is a hot pan. This pan's been on the flat top for a little bit. Um, you're going to see smoke start billowing out of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to take a little of the oil, all right, and go right into the pan. When you Now, you see how the oil turns from kind of like... It gets really almost like a water texture. Mm -hmm. You know you're looking at a good area. Oh, okay. um, that temperature, you're gonna be fine. And you're That's not, a good tip. So hot pan, cold oil. Hot pan, cold oil. Okay. okay. Let it let the oil heat up for about 30 seconds. At that point, you want to take your scalp where the scores are. You want to put it down, but you want to put it down in a way where the scalp's gonna go that way. So if there's any oil, it's gonna go that way and not away from you. you. So. Okay. Go ahead. Let me give it a try. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Did it great. So at this point, now you can see from the side of it, okay, the scallops are browning nice. Yeah. Your pan's at a great quickly. temperature. Your spoon, you just want to basically just, you know, if it looks like it's browning too fast, you shake the pan a little bit. Shaking the pan incorporates air, which will cool the pan down. Because you, you want a golden brown and you don't want to have dark spots on it. Right. That's like the, the trick of the trade. Mm. <laughs> so you can tell. All right, so once it gets to a nice golden brown, ah, oh, wow. see the scores? Yeah, that looks beautiful. All right, so it kind of blo blooms it, opens up a little mm -hmm. bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna slide it to the side where it's like not as hot. Okay. At this point, we should probably add the shiitake mm -hmm. and the edamame to the little pot. Okay, just pour it right pour in right there. Pour right in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we wanna get all of them, that's yeah. good stuff, right? <laughs> that's what they're paying for. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna add some dashi. At this point, we're just going to let it just simmer. Now, basically, with this, you know, where we're doing it, we're boiling the mushrooms mm -hmm. instead of instead of sautéing it. It's kind of a way that I. It's just a different way to cook it. Mm -hmm. You know, too many. I think you know, doing repetition techniques of always sautéing mushrooms kind of gets boring. Raising it. This is just a light poach of a mushroom. Okay. Especially uh, shiitake, they bring out some great flavor. Mm. And you see that the color. Great. And you put a little dash of salt in there. A little dash of salt. Always want to see. Mm -hmm. So now at this point, the scallops are pretty much finished. Okay, we got a nice gold on both sides. Oh, yeah, great color. We're going to want to put a little butter in there. Mm -hmm. For flavor. Okay. And then we're just going to finish it. And the technique here, we're going to add some shallot. Right into the oil. Right into the oil. And some thyme leaves right into the oil. And what we're going to do is now we're going to basically flavor that butter and then finish, finish the scalp with a beautiful, nice freshly like kind of like toasted wow. shallot and some toasted um, thyme. And you can see it glistening. And, that looks amazing. Right. And then there we go. And we'll put it here. Take it off the heat. So we have our scallops done. Mm -hmm. Same time we have our edamame and mushrooms are finished as well. Okay. So we're going to take that and spoon it right next to it. And now we're ready to plate. <laughs> All right. So we'll that's head, it. That is it. That's that how quick. that's how quick it is. So for the home, you can tell scallops don't take that long. Mm -hmm. You want to serve the scallop at more of a medium rare temperature. You saw, you know, we go beyond that, it gets chewy. You mm -hmm. want the real natural flavor of scallop to come through, and you want it to be at a medium rare, the ideal temperature for me at least. It's mm -hmm. not raw, but it's not cooked all the way. So as we finish the the scallops cooking and the edamame and the shiitake, we're ready to plate. Um, so we're going to heat up the, the jus, which we did, with the black truffle and black truffle vinegar in it. Mm -hmm. and basically what we're going to try to, you know, just do a little mosaic kind of patterns on this, you know, nice white plate. abstract art. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, next we have another sauce. It's a passion fruit 
basically fresh juice. And we're gonna... They're kind of in between. Right, so we want to kind of... So you have a couple of flavors. Yeah, now what the... frame that. <laughs> Hopefully. <good>. Well now, <laughs> you know, the, the concept in these two sauces is that the passion fruit applies acid, help mm. cut through the seafood. And then you got the savoriness of the black truffle and the black truffle jus. Mm. Um, and then we're gonna take some of the... Just kind of like put it around the plate. This adds a little color, if you notice the green. Yeah. And then the shiitakes. And then we're gonna add scalp, just like that, kind of presentation-wise. Take some of the beautiful radishes and kind of like add some more color to the plate. Yeah, a little garnish. A little garnet, nothing mm -hmm. wrong. <laughs> a little of the microgreens, mm -hmm. a little lotus trip on top. Microgreen again. And then we finish with a lotus chip. Kind of gives us a little little flare of color, mm -hmm. but doesn't really, you know. And then there we go. That is beautiful. That's our, you know, Daybo Diver Sea Scout mm -hmm. with um, fresh edamame, shiitake mushrooms, passion fruit, and a black truffle winter juice. Wow, that looks amazing. I'm sure it tastes just as good. So here we have it, the Diver Sea Scallop. Yeah. It looks amazing. <laughs> so what kind of wine would you recommend to pair with this? Um, what we pair at the restaurant are our um, Somalia Jason Ferris. He f pairs this like Sedona uh, Riesling with it. And he does it because that kind of has a passion fruit undertone to it. Mm -hmm. So it kind of goes well with the dish. And it's light, it's crisp. This is what we uh, kind of recommend. Okay. So Sounds good. I guess dig May in. I? Yeah. <laughs> you have to have some with me though. I'll try some. Okay. I'm a little more... <laughs> There you go. All right. <laughs> mm. That's very nice. Savory, the acid, the fruit. Absolutely. Yeah, with the wine. Yo, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Everything kind of flowed. That's kind a of have that nice pairing. passion fruit flavor to it. Very good. Well, there you go. There's. All right. I'm hungry. I'm going to go for a round two, I think. Me too, actually. <laughs> but I should close this out. The Diver Sea Scallops at Guilt Restaurant with Executive Chef Christopher Lee. Thank you so much. Thank Hold you. Up and see.